Hi everybody, welcome back to another video with Royals of Games. Today in this video, I'm going to review one of the best Lenovo monitor that is selling very good right now. And many people want to buy this monitor. So, I noticed that there is not that many reviews on YouTube about this monitor. So, I wanted out to point some of the advantages and disadvantages of this monitor. And some of the downsides to this monitor and also maybe sometimes later I do an unboxing and this monitor and also before I start I want to tell you that I unbox many monitors so if you go to my channel you can see the unboxing for many monitors and also the reviews for many other monitors so you can choose the one that best fits you let's move on to today's uh, video so this Lenovo monitor is the 27 inch Q20 Y27 Q20 and it's WLED gaming monitor. So we can see that before the price was $549 and uh, Lenovo gives you a $50 saving which brings down the price to $499. It has one day to one to three day shipping in US. We can see that the monitor looks very good and this stand is uh, included RGB inside and the stand looks pretty much like a gaming stand and it's fine and then we can see that the monitor is good but what another downside to the, this monitor is that uh, maybe some people like it I don't know maybe it's not really a downside but it has uh, a slim edge I usually don't like an edge, I like the monitor to be an infinity display without having any edge so when you turn it on you only see the monitor so at this price uh, that's a little bit not good that they're still using an edge technology because uh, even monitors that are $150 right now they're infinity edge so okay and in the other picture we can see that the monitor stand is adjustable meaning you can tilt it up, down, left, right and you can adjust the height also to up and down and right here we can see that the monitor uh, has also cable management inside the stand and then you get two options and another downside you only can use your HDMI or you can use your display port and it does not support a VGA cable and it does not support a DVI I believe so let me check one more time yeah only a HDMI and a display port does not support VGA and does not support DVI so that's a downside that many gamers tend to use the DVI because we use in uh, HDMI the max uh, refresh rate you can get is 60 refresh rate and this monitor the gaming monitor with higher refresh rate and you can't get anything out of an HDMI so you must use the display port and some of our computers don't have a display port so then you have to use an adapter to use display port into DVI and that's a problem Okay, let's move on to other specifications. So, uh, this monitor's IPS wide viewing angle, and uh, that may be another downside to this monitor because uh, IPS is not that bad, but it's fine. Uh, I like to use the active matrix more because it gives you a better clarity, and uh, however, the this monitor again I told you it has the 165 Hertz extreme refresh rate so many of the monitors come with 60 Hertz refresh rate but this monitor has uh, three times more refresh rate than that one and that is very good however you have to use the display port in order to get that refresh rate let's check one more time display port max refresh rate so 
So you can see that the max refresh rate you can get out of a display port is between 120 hertz to 144 hertz. Which again, this 165 hertz is useless because with HDMI you get max of 60 hertz, and with display port you get max of 144. So I don't know why they made it 165 hertz refresh rate, and you can't use it. So, however, that's enough for 144 is enough, very good with display ports. So, you should definitely go for using a display port with this monitor because HDMI using HDMI is useless. If you want to use the HDMI with, at this price with this much refresh rate, why don't you go save yourself a $300 and buy a $170 monitor which has the same thing? And again, it has extreme 1 millisecond response rate, but that's on the extreme setting. Extreme setting, using extreme setting is not that good for your monitor. Using normal setting is better. And the normal setting gives you a 3 millisecond response rate. And I don't think there is any difference between 3 millisecond and 1 millisecond. Your eyes is not fast enough to make see the difference between that. That's very, very 1 millisecond. Your brain is not so anything under five milliseconds. You don't notice it at all. So many of the one hundred dollar monitors they have five milliseconds refresh rate, and this one you don't see any difference. Maybe in very very uh, high FPS gaming, and when you're running with a max setting and high resolution four K, maybe that time you understand a slight difference. And this one is compatible with Niveda G-Sense technology. Again, as I said, the monitor is 27 inch. The brightness you can get is the 350 CD or M square. And the spike ratio is 16 to 9. And the contrast ratio is 1000 to 1. That's good. And the viewing angle you get is 178 degree or 178 degree. The tilt angle you can get is negative 5 degree over 22 degree. And the rest you can see right here. You have a 3 year warranty with this. So that means after 3 years it may not work anymore. Uh, if you use it every day a lot, it may not. But if you use it every day 5 6 hours, it should be good up to 5 years. But I don't think you're going to use the monitor that much, and by that time, you should get a new PC. And we can see that this monitor is also anti glare, meaning that it's way better for your eye and for people who wear glasses or do gaming a lot. It doesn't make their eye tired as much as other monitors who are not anti clear but at this price they definitely should have included this and they included because even $150 monitor they have this one. It's capable of providing 1.07 billion color, the color depth is 10 bit and again yes this is the gaming monitor so if you're only a gamer you should purchase this monitor if you need a monitor for your office work or for your business you definitely should not get this monitor because this monitor is only good for people who do it works but uh, what you want to get out of a monitor for gaming uh, is different than what you want for office because gaming requires higher refresh rate higher uh, response time and uh, you don't need that to pay extra money so you can save up yourself a little bit money you can watch other monitors that are exactly same quality exactly same size however the refresh rate and the response time is slower uh, if your business or office you can go to my channel and watch a video with an unboxing for those monitors and you can see that the power the power consumption is between 50 watt to 90 watt max and it has auto sleep similar to every other monitor and the weight of this monitor is 9.91 with this stand and without the stand it's 6.77 kilogram and again this monitor similar to every other monitor is always independent and we can see that People give this monitor a 4.8 star, almost 5 star, however the reviews are 33, 
but this again is because this monitor is a 2020 monitor and just came out and not that many people still bought it yet. If you have any question about this monitor, feel free to comment below. I will respond as soon as possible. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. Other than this, have a good day.